if you can identify what it is you do, how you do it, and why you do it, and be clear about those things, I believe you can crush. Every business owner needs to be on social media. What's your opinion on that? Does every entrepreneur in some way, shape, or form need a social media presence? Um, I think it's, I think the simple answer is yes, I have a bias. And that's only because I don't believe anyone's trying to have their business die. Like that's not the goal. Nobody wants their business to phase out and fizzle. Um, but the, 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 probably the, the scariest thing about of having a business is the new kid on the block. The dude that comes in or the, the girl that comes in and is just doing all the right things off the get go. And in such a short amount of time, yeah. like what took you so long took them a fraction of the time. The thing is about with social media is when you invest in, uh, you know, getting yourself out there with good strategies and tactics and just and just sharing what you're doing is because social media is a place that's just rapidly growing that you're you're sowing seed in in good ground, in my opinion, because because social media is still online internet is still not where it's supposed to be like it's still people are are just now hopping on you know uh on online shopping people are just now finding out about social media so sure. if you want your business to be you know future proofed i would say yes you should be on social media okay so on that thought process so many people think oh my gosh social media is saturated i'm too late to get in the game is someone that wanting to start right now too late to jump in and still be able to maximize what social media can do for a person and or a business uh it is not too late to start jumping in and so you using, heard it here okay no excuses no excuses not to start today you're not too late it's not too late um i do think what's different is you do need to come with a plan in the past it was like let's willy nilly this thing and people struck gold. Yeah. Now you, there is there is wisdom going into it before you even start. Some wisdom to know is that you should just stick to what your niche is, stick to what your business is about. Um, the, you know, the, the unicorn strategy isn't replicatable. You know, there, we have people who just started posting content, sharing their life, grew a huge following. That isn't a repeatable process. Uh, but something that you can sustain is sharing value uh, on your social media platform for your business that would help other people. We went out to dinner with a, with your chiropractor yesterday yeah. and they have no idea how to use social media. Yeah. And I was saying, think about the everyday things that you do, that people do that come in your chair, like sit at desks or maybe, you know, uh, go on walks or, you know, they're doctors. So you could say, here are three ways to better your uh, posture while if you work at your desk. For sure. You know, or the, just the, the possibilities become endless if you're just trying to help the people that are in your chair. And so I think that was enlightening. And I saw uh, your friend just taking a ton of notes about all the video ideas that are coming yeah. into his mind now because he's like, uh, you know, why, how many times do you need to see a chiropractor? Yeah. Why do you need to see a chiropractor? Um, you know, what, what, what does a chiropractor, what does seeing a chiropractor do to your health? You know, um, the reason why you're struggling with something, the reason why, you know, it's just showing up and giving that source of information to your potential clients is, is invaluable because now they think about you and they're not even in your office space.